yourself that there's like 99 kids on stage and they've never played together before since yesterday. Um, so what we're doing is pretty spectacular. The next tune we're going to play is called Jungle Dance. After we play Jungle Dance, we're going to play a tune called, called Fire Dance. So we're going to go from a very um, comfortable dance to one where we're on fire, I suppose. And then we're going to come back and finish with Groovy. We'll hear from me after we do two more selections, though. So here, without any further ado, is Jungle Dance.
Before we play our final tune, uh, I just wanted to extend a little thanks to the directors of Region 24 for allowing me to work with their students today. Also, I wanted to thank Mr. Scott Kennedy for being my site organizer, as well as Mr. Alan Brody for being my percussion director. Uh, this has been a really phenomenal experience. I was telling the kids that I do uh, several of these every year. In fact, I'm doing one of these every weekend for the next four weeks. They're my first one, so they said really high, like a high bar. And this has been, of my several years doing these kind of region bands, my most memorable experience because, as I could put it plainly, your kids are so awesome. They let me bust their chops for a day and a half to be the very best they could possibly be. And we took 90 or so students who had never played together before. I mean, have you ever thought about how crazy this is? Like, yes, exactly. There's 90 kids up here, 90 or more. They've never played together before. They come from completely different schools. They all have their different ways that they rehearse at their own school with their different directors. And we're going to come together and put on a concert with four pieces of music of considerable difficulty. And we're going to figure out how to play together in one and a half days. That's really pretty unbelievable. And if you haven't even thought about it further, think about this for a minute. Have you ever thought about what it takes to play an instrument together? I mean, sometimes I just think about band and I go like, oh my gosh, this is really weird. Like, are we okay? They don't like the sound of my voice. It's okay, I don't like it either. I mean, have you ever thought about how crazy this is? I mean, you're going to take just let alone two people are going to play an instrument together. You know, and to produce a sound together, they're going to blow air at the same speed and the same direction. Their tongues inside their mouth are going to strike a certain location inside their mouth at exactly the same time. Like, that blows my mind. And then now let's do that with 90 or more children. That's crazy. And what I can tell you after spending a day and a half with your children, is that you have exceptional children, and they are exceptionally tough and have exceptionally high expectations. And that is a testament not only to the directors, but it's a testament to the parents out here. And I want you to know that the hard work that you're doing to provide for private lessons, to make last minute runs to the store to get reads because suddenly, you know, every single read is broken and nothing will do. You know, and putting up with recording assignments and emotional outbursts because you can't just get that one take that's good enough. You know, and I've got to go to my audition and I'm super nervous. And like everything that you do for your child is being noticed and recognized. And this would not be possible if what you did at home wasn't working. And though they may not say it to you very often and they may not take time to say thank you, I want you to know that they do genuinely really appreciate what you're doing for them because this experience has been wonderful. And it was only possible because of the support of fantastic parents. So I want to consider, uh, I want to ask you to continue supporting them as they go throughout their music education and know that the impact that you're having on them is huge. I mean, what we're doing is just crazy. It's just so phenomenal. And that's because of you guys. So from me to you and from the kids up here, I want to round of applause for all the parents because they really are the ones who make this possible. They really do love you. <laughs> I think I was like 25 when I finally told my parents thank you, so, you know, just for what it's worth. We're going to finish our concert tonight with a piece called Ruby. It's a really neat, kind of jazzy tune. Um, it's exceptionally groovy, and I think you're going to love it. I want to thank you again for having me out tonight and yesterday. I sincerely enjoyed the opportunity to work with your kids. They're fantastic. Um, if I could load them all up in the back of my band truck and take them with me, and I would keep rehearsing them, um, but that would probably be. So thank you so much, and I look forward to finishing the concert with Ruby.